Okay, as outlined, this presentation will focus on the automation of the financial statements. Today, I will be using the Canadian GAAP financials template. However, if you're working with our US GAAP, IFRS, or GASB templates, while minor differences may be observed, this presentation will be applicable for all caseware financial solutions. Our financial solutions automate the generation of financial statements in a number of ways, from formatting to content generation and everything in between. When used to its full potential, the solution has the ability to generate complete financial statements for varying engagement types at the click of a button, saving clients immeasurable time each year. Today, as Todd mentioned, our focus will be on two key concepts. Those are building and automating statements using mapping structures and defining default content to generate in engagement files using the edit content feature. So first, building and automating statements using the mapping structures. When considering automation of statements, users must take into account three key components. Those components are your master template, your engagement files, and of course, the mapping structures that relate these two components. Users must create and maintain statements within the applicable libraries at the master template level in order to create automated statements. Essential to automating statements, users must maintain a consistent mapping structure between their master template and all engagement files. While some administration is required to achieve this, the time saved in automating statements is far greater than that required to maintain a consistent mapping structure. As engagement files are based on the master templates, all engagement files will automatically adopt the mapping structure present within the master template. So, depending on your organization, it is expected that over time, mapping structures will change and evolve in order to group accounts effectively. For example, if you're working with a public practice, you may gain a new agricultural client in the future. This may require the creation of new map numbers in order to group this client's accounts. In this example, any map numbers created within your engagement file must be copied to the master template in order to maintain a consistent mapping structure. This can be achieved easily using CaseWare's Working Papers Copy Components feature. If your organization does not require modification to the mapping structure beyond the initial setup, little or no maintenance will be required for ongoing automation of the statements. So, providing you have maintained a consistent mapping structure between your master template and your engagement files, let's examine how statements are automated using map numbers. To demonstrate this, I'm going to access my master template and review the automation of a balance sheet. So first, to access my master template from Caseware Working Papers, I'm simply going to select Tools and Templates. And as I mentioned today, I'm going to be working with our Canadian GAP Financials template. Okay, so we're gonna go straight into our firm financial options. And we're going to access our balance sheet knowledge library. Okay, so here we have a balance sheet that I created earlier today. So the purpose of this demonstration is to give our attendees a clear understanding of how we automate our financial statements at the engagement level using our mapping structures. So here I have a balance sheet. This balance sheet is made up of five columns, as we can see. I can advise you, the only column of any consequence is column one. Columns two, three, four, and five are going to pull their information as a result of whatever is entered into column one. And if we select our drop down, column one represents our mapping structure. So if, for example, we change the mapping structure, the map number listed here to other cash, our map number, as well as our description, is updated. So how does the automation of our financial statements work in our engagement or client files? Well, when you generate your financial statements, for example, the program will say that the first line under current assets should be map number 111. Now, we've already established that we need to have a consistent mapping structure. So providing I have a consistent mapping structure in my engagement file, when I generate my financial statements, my first line under current assets will be map number 111. In that engagement file, that map number will represent my cash accounts. So when I generate my statements, the first line under current assets will be 111, and the description and balances will be pulled from the mapping structure in my engagement file. 
So as long as we have a consistent mapping structure, when we generate our statements, all line items will automatically populate as per that mapping structure. So that's an idea of how the automation works. At this time, I would like to make some suggestions as to how you may wish to build your statements at the master template level. Typically, when building statements, we build our statements with a specific engagement in mind. So let's say, for example, we're working with an agricultural client. When we're building our balance sheet, we are going to list the current assets relevant to that agricultural client. What I'd like to recommend is that where possible, you do not do that. So rather than picking and choosing the current assets you list in your balance sheet statements, I would recommend that you build your balance sheet with your entire mapping structure. So once again, rather than picking line items specific to my agricultural client, in my current asset section of my balance sheet, I would list all current asset map numbers that I have within my mapping structure. Now the first thing many people say when advised of this is, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, different clients are going to have different account line items, so why would I use my entire mapping structure? And that's where our skip high feature comes into place. So at this time, I'm just going to jump to my engagement or client level file. So here's an engagement file I created earlier, and I've already pre-generated my financial statements within this file. So if we jump down to our balance sheet here and just access our editing mode, you will notice that within my balance sheet I have some line items which are listed in a black font, while other line items are listed in a blue font. Blue font within our program is referring to any information that while presented is skipped and hidden. Skipped and hidden is terminology we use to describe information that while presented will not be included in any final copies of your statements. So for example, if I were to print these statements or save them as a PDF, I will not see any of these blue line items. Furthermore, you'll notice that blue line items are those line items which do not have any associated balances. So if I set select to hide my skipped rows and columns, here we can see an example of our balance sheet as it will appear when it is printed. All of those blue line items are removed. And that is because, once again, those are skipped and hidden and considered irrelevant to my current engagement file. So, when building our statements within our master template, we have the ability to build those statements using our entire mapping structure. In each individual engagement file, all line items that should be included will automatically be included, and any line items which are not relevant to your engagement file will not have any associated balances so will automatically be ignored by the program. So I'm just going to close down my engagement level file at this time and we'll return to our master template library. So when we're building our statements, by building our statements with our entire mapping structure, as long as we maintain that consistency within the mapping structure, it means that no matter what client we're working on, all line items that should be included will be included. So that's it for how we automate our financial statements using our mapping structures. If you have any questions concerning that, I'm going to encourage you to make a note and make sure you post those questions to us at the end of the session.